Hey YouTubians, it's Tony here from We Try Anything Channel. I'm Try Anything, so you don't have to. In today's video, what we're going to take a look at, we're going to take a look at the Casio W59, which has a module number of 590. Now, what is customary with this review, what we'll do is we'll show you around the actual watch, uh, mentioning some of the materials that this watch is made up of, um, the sizes as well, mentioning the sizes, and also going through some of the actual functions that this watch has. What we'll do is pop in on our wrist and say it's like to wear. Now, first of all, what I'm gonna mention is that this is an eBay purchase. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning this is that some Casio purists will notice that the swatch strap is completely different to the actual one I'm featuring here. And the other thing I've noticed um, in comparison is that this doesn't have a, a border going around the actual date um, going on here so I don't know if this is a slightly older version of that watch or um, well I don't think it's a fake in theory because when I press that keep my finger down it does show you the actual Casio display and also if I do that if I do that it does show you the actual Casio module test as well so again you know pop it in the description see if you if you think it is a fake I don't think it is and I have bought it in with good intentions um, but as I said, the main reason I have bought this watch off eBay is just purely for the fact um, that I like to show sometimes how these watches wear. So, as I said, I don't think it is a fake, but I, I can only be about 90% sure. Now, this watch, it goes without saying, it is very close to the F91W, which is a very iconic watch in the Casio range. And it isn't far off in terms of looks uh, and the way, you know, the actual watch operates and feels. I mean, there is a lot of differences with the design of what the details that are going on with the actual dial, dial and stuff like that. But the, the main difference with this watch, and it will be mentioned, is that this watch here, the FW59, uh, is 50 meters water resistant whereas the f91w isn't it is just water resistant or more splash resistant and stuff so with this watch you could probably wash your hands without any worry and to be honest i have put this watch under the tap a couple of times just to give it a good clean and it, it's fine it hasn't you know it hasn't let in any water or anything like that so you know it, it does it does work now as as i say it is an ebay purchase so the actual strap it will it is different to the one that you do get with the normal w59 and um, so i'm not going to really highlight the quality of the strap that much but what i will do i'll say what it's like on the wrist because obviously this watch you know it will kind of i'd say about 89 90 percent wear just as much as it would do with the actual original strap now looking around the watch it is a retro style watch as i say and it is got a plastic case to it which is about 34 millimeters in diameter now i have measured it pusher to pusher and you are looking at about 36 millimeters look to look 37 millimeters is what i've measured it approximately and the actual thickness of this watch you're looking at nine millimeters approximately as such it's just it was a little bit under that with, with the tool that i used to measure it which is this fernier here now in terms of the rest of the materials, it has got the usual Casio stainless steel back to it, which does feature, as I say, mentions that it is water resistant up to five bar or 50 meters. And also you've got the screws going on here, which allow easy access to the um, battery that is in within. And it is powered by a lithium battery as well, which is, it's a bit different to the normal Casios I have seen. And it is marked as such on the watch. Now in terms of battery, apparently if you do from brand new, this watch will last up to approximately seven years worth of use. Now I say up to approx and approximately, because obviously if you keep using the functions and you keep using the backlight and stuff like that, um, it will slightly deplete the battery a bit quicker than it would do if you just put it on your wrist. In terms of the actual uh, acrylic display or sorry the actual dial window as such it is made up of a acrylic glass which is meant to be resistance against breaking as it says on the casio website now the only thing i will say with the acrylic glass crystal as it were it is prone to scratching and i haven't gone too mad with the poly watch on this so i just wanted to show you the little micro scratches that this does pick up as well as the scratches that the actual plastic resin case does pick up as well now in terms of the strap obviously as i said this is the non-standard strap that you that i got with this ebay purchase but with the standard strap you do get a very nice resin strap as such which is it's, it's, it's the usual normal as it were more affordable casio affair really 
Now, the other thing as well that this watch does come with, it does come with a backlight, which I'll show you here. It, it is a, a backlight that's based on you pushing it as opposed to pushing it and there being a delay of the backlight as such. And it isn't the best backlight as such. It's, it is very reminiscent of the F91W. Um, but it's there. It, you can read the time as such, but it's not brilliant. And I'll be honest with you, if you are looking for a watch that has an absolutely mega backlight to it in this kind of range then I would probably look at the Casio W86 yeah the W86 as the actual electroluminescent backlight is just second to none on for that price point really in terms of movement you're looking at a quartz movement which has an accuracy of plus and minus 30 seconds and that's it really it also features now talking about some of the features of the actual watch it does feature a um, obviously on the main as it were the main display you are looking at it does feature the day of the week and the actual date within the month and it also does you can set the month in which you are in and um, obviously you can do 12 and 24 hour what's going on here or what's known as military time in the US in the USA and also it does feature a daily alarm as well as an, uh, an daily signal and also what it does feature is a stopwatch which has a measuring capacity of 60 minutes and it measures in a unit of a hundredth of a second but in terms of looks I've got to say it does look good it's the usual Casio retro look to it and it is just a simple watch to, that tells the time you can set an alarm you can set an elapsed or measure an elapsed time with this watch in terms of the stopwatch but you do have that added aspect of 50 meters water resistance so you do have a little bit more how can I say flexibility in the things you can do so if you're out in the garden and it's raining or you're going for a run and it's raining or something like that or you do say wash the dishes with your or go for a, uh, a bath and or a shower and you've still got this watch on then there's nothing really to worry about in terms of it's water resistant but in in terms of looks again as i say it is the very usual classic casio retro look affair and what i'm going to do i'm going to say it's like when it's on my wrist now on the wrist it is the usual casio um classic look really it is it is nice it is comfortable and obviously with it being a, a lightweight watch and i think it's around the 30 gram mark you know it's nothing it's nothing heavy at all it is very very easy to re uh, to wear really and you know obviously got none of the inhibitions with the hand movement or anything like that and I've got to say, I mean, for the price point, I think you can get this around the £15 mark. It isn't a bad price at all, and especially when you get the little bit of water resistance as well. It is a very flexible watch to wear. And in terms of looks, it looks great. I mean, I'm not going to go, obviously, I'm not going to talk about the actual strap because it isn't the strap that you get with this watch. But in terms of how the watch feels on the top of my wrist and how it looks, it looks like a great watch. And I've got to say, you know, in terms of if you want a watch that's classically styled, wears well on the wrist it is a little bit small though i will say you know if you if you're not into if you're more into a larger watch or something that's a little bit more beefy then you know this isn't the watch for you really but if you like your classic casio and you want something that's not too intrusive and um, you don't mind as a beta watch really that you can wear every day it's not very high cost or anything like that so you've got nothing to worry about if you scratch it or do anything to it then i would consider the w59 and the other thing to mention, as I say, that it is a little bit of a step up from the iconic F91W in terms of the water resistance. But if I had the choice, I'm going to be honest with you, I would go with that one. And the main reason being is that you've got the water resistance of 50 meters, plus you've got that electroluminescent display, which it really is, it does win out, compared to these two watches, it does win hands down and it is around the same price point as that i have seen this around for a 15 pound as much as i've seen that around for the same price so out of the two out of the three that i've quickly mentioned in this video i would mention that which is a bit strange really but you know if it's if it's if it's a watch that you, where you want to be able to see the time in the night time then the w86 the one but if you are after a classic retro watch that does have you know you're not too bothered about the actual backlight but it does have that 50 meters of water resistance and it is classically styled like the F91W that I've featured, which I've just shown you quickly shown you here. Then I would go for the W59. It is a nice watch. It wears really well on the wrist and it's a simple thing to operate. There's nothing too wrong with it in terms of, you know, how easy it is to work and how easy it is 
to change the date and the time and stuff like that so and it gets my thumbs up which is great so if, i hope you like the little mini review or the little feature review of the casio w59 and if you did then give it a thumbs up always helps the channel if you want to see more videos coming from the we try anything channel then click on the subscription button below and thank you for watching this video and we look forward to seeing you next time goodbye